Hi, so this is Sophia, and this is how she wakes up in the morning. You see? Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I can't tell you how many times moms have asked me, or people just ask me, how long, do the, how long does it take you to do that hair? And honestly, it really doesn't take that long, okay? Um, we've been doing Sophia's hair since she was born. When she was six months old, she had two little antennas, and those were her first ponytails. <laughs> So, I wanted you to see exactly what her hair looks like when she wakes up in the morning and this is it. So the first thing I always do is I will use a detangler or you can use water if you're more comfortable with that. Um, I happen to be using Brex Kids Spray On Detangler and it works pretty well. But what you need to do is really saturate the hair. So that's what we're going to do first. So as you can see, I've totally saturated the hair. I haven't combed it out yet. But now what I'm going to do is, her hair's a little bit longer and it also has a little bit of curl, so I always use this one just to, to get all the knots out first. Because this one seems to work the best. So, just go through. Just comb it out. Get all the knots out. And it also hurts your child a little bit less. Now, if they're a little bit younger, you can also get them um, even at the kitchen table or at a desk and have them color or do a little project while you're working on their hair. That works great, too. Today, we're not doing that. Sophia's a little bit older. She's about to turn six. So, she's okay with just sitting still now. <clears throat> okay, well, I've gotten all the knots out. I'm going to spray a little bit more of this detangler or water, whatever you have. And I think today we are going to do braids. So what I do is I just take the hair, first I'm just combing it like this, and Sophia has bangs, so I'm going to make a little bit, use your rat tooth comb, and I'm going to make a little line right here just to make a nice line, okay? So I'm going to do that first. Then, so then I, what I did is I made a nice little line right there, I just kind of separated the bangs, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a center part, okay? It's always best, again, to use your rat tail comb, so then you just take... You do your line down, okay, it's always nice to kind of separate that hair at the top. Going to get a nice line. If you didn't make it as straight as you'd like the first time, you can always go back with your rat tooth comb and just get in there again. Make it as straight as you want, okay. For this purpose, I think we're good. Now, you're going to continue that line in the back. So you take your rat tooth comb and then just all the way back and you kind of just separate the hair, okay? At this point, you know, um, depending on how neat you'd like it, uh, one of the tricks is to get your water or your detangler, again, spray it on that line just so that you get that hair really saturated and it does what you want. Okay, and then go back and just separate the hair. Now Sophia here, our model, she's very cooperative. So you may not get children as cooperative, so you need to maybe give them something to do, give them a lollipop, you know, whatever you need to do. So now I'm collecting the hair. Now remember, once you get this down, it goes a lot quicker, but for now, I'm just kind of going slow so you see what I do. I'm gathering the hair, okay? Once you gathered the hair, go ahead and pick your favorite rubber band. So I like these little goodie rubber bands. They're nice because they don't pull the hair out and they don't snag and they don't hurt. And then I also like them because they come in the different hair colors and I use, like to use this um, blonde one because Sophia has like strawberry blonde hair. So, and this is gentle on her hair and it doesn't pull it, doesn't snag it. So once I've done that, I just give it a little pull and it's nice and secure. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So I'm gonna put you on hold for a minute. So now, um, I've got both ponytails in, we've got them even, we've got the part in the middle, have our hair fully saturated, ready to go, to do whatever I'd like. I think we're going to do braids. 
So what I use for the braids is I use these little tiny goody rubber bands. And these are really good. These are just like the big ones. They don't snag the hair. Um, and I use them to fasten the ends. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, so we have the ponytail. So if you can just move very so slightly, thank you. We're going to put it in three parts. Okay, make sure that the hair is really saturated when you do this so you get a nice, neat ponytail. And I'm just folding one right over the other. One right over the other. Okay, one right over the other. One right over the other. Now another thing you can do is if you wanted it to be super neat, um, you could put a little gel in the hair, you know, right before we started the braid. And if you do the gel in the hair, that also keeps it really, really neat. Okay. I think I'm going to stop right here. Sophia, do you have the rubber band? Thank you. If you can turn that way, love, so we can show the rubber band. Okay, and the nice braid. Just, you know, wind it around there. That one's all done. Now we're going to do the same thing. To this side, saturate the hair again. Just make sure you get a nice, neat braid. Okay. Three sections. And one right over the other. Very simple. One right over the other. See how I have a little uneven thing here? If I wanted to, I could take a little bit of gel, gel it down. But for this purpose, I'm just going to go right over it, and I'm just going to braid right over it. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Got the other rubber band. Go ahead and just secure it at the bottom. Okay. Secure it. Now at this point, you've got the two braids done. It's always cute if you want to add a bow. Put a bow on each side, that's fine. If you don't, you want to just do the simple trick, that's fine too. What I do do, I'll tell you, and this may be something you want to do and maybe not, I do take a little bit of hairspray and I just go down right that center part just to keep it nice all day. I also kind of put a little hairspray on my hand and I just kind of swipe her bangs down a little bit. Now, if you don't want to do the hairspray, that's fine. Um, I would recommend maybe some alcohol-free uh, gel, hair gel, and then you can put the hair gel in um, the hair, and that will also keep it nice and secure. So either way, it's up to you, but this is the final product. Sophia. Sophia, can you stand up and turn around? Do a little curtsy. Face the camera. So I just wanted to make a few suggestions. Um, you know, a couple things is, so you'll probably need a brush, you'll need um, a rat tooth comb, and you'll also need one of these just to get the knots out. Um, you're going to need your water bottle, and then if you choose to, hairspray. So another thing that um, I do is I have this neat little caboodle, and you can get probably get this at Target or anywhere, craft store, but what I like to do is I like to keep it all together. I put these two in here as well, and what it does is um, it keeps all your um, your rubber bands, your barrettes, your bows, uh, your combs all together so that in the morning, you know, before school or whenever you need to, you just, you know, grab this whole little kit, you've got it ready to go, and you don't have to scatter around looking for rubber bands and bows and water bottles and hairspray. It's all together. And it just kind of comes apart. Um, each compartment comes apart. And then you've got your rubber bands here, your bows, your brushes. And then I put everything back together when I'm done. And your barrette things. And your barrette things. And then I snap it back all together. A little lid on top and a little handle and I'm set to go. All right so I hope this helps you and we'll be doing some more videos just to help you get um, your morning routines together and help helping you to get the new hairstyles for your little girls but you can see how cute she looks when the product is all finished. This is Sophia and thank you Sophia for helping.